Blood tide laps on barnacled legs and the hawsers grow tight in the rising wind. Halyards sing against gray weathered masts and the moss bearded rudder swings slow on her pins. In the waterfront bar their coats hung on pegs. The patrons are laughing and swilling their gin and spilling out tales of their seafaring past. The grizzled old mate with the sea raider eyes is smoking his hand-carved whalebone pipe. The barmaid is moping and mopping the floor on her hands and knees, her breasts hanging ripe. The mate turns his head, looks out at the sky. Tis an old Easter, lads, I know the type. Takes his coat from the peg and goes to the door. On the rain-swept salt spray quay, he stands and checks the glass in the wharfinger's shed. He wipes the steam from his spectacle lens and then slowly turns with a shake of his head. Adjusting his cap with his sailor's hands, he mutters, I know I'll soon be dead. Sure, the time grows near, this long voyage ends. Then the thunder rolled and the ship's bills told, and from out of the lowering sea-gray sky sailed a schooner grand, with all her hands turned out to the gunnels, and standing by with a cargo of gold in her groaning hold to put a gleam in any seaman's eye and to carry him off to faraway lands. Then the snaking line all around him twined as they heaved and they hauled his body aboard. And they showed him back to the captain's berth where they treated him like an admiralty lord. And he had high tea as the ship's clock chimed and the captain ordered this course change toward the star that marks the top of the earth. And so the sails were trimmed and reefed on spars that glowed in the heavily spangled light. And the captain spoke of the waterless sea where the schooner beat over reefs of night through celestial storms and maelstroms of stars. Till at last, at the still point, the ship came right and ran down till dawn raised the Pleiades. And there, in the sign of the raging bull, they anchored at last in the May-warm sky. And the old mate marveled at the ancient gods, whose many ships plied the waves nearby. Till at last his heart was blessed and full, and the starlight faded from his eyes. The mate's gray head gave a final nod, and the barmaid found him there in his chair with his whalebone pipe burned dottled down. And his sea rider's eyes held a secret light, and a smile creased his face so weathered brown. So they buried him out in the salt sea air in the ship-shaped coffin on the hill above town where he watches his schooner sail the oceans of night.